These are a 14 foot lodge pine pole that we use to support our trees. The trees cannot support themselves on their own when they're uh, fully grown to the top of the post. These trees will be roughly uh, 11 feet tall and they will have about 100 apples per tree. So how we lay the post out is we count every seven trees there's a post. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we have another row of posts. So that just goes for the whole length of this farm here. Today we're in a block of Gala and Honeycrisp, all planted in the fall of 2020. These will produce their first apples in 2024. So here we've gone through and laid out the post and then we'll come back through, stand the post up and pound this pole in right there. So we use, uh, we use a certain size pole of four to five inch diameter in the inline. And then on the end post, which you see laying here on the ground, we use a bigger diameter post just because uh, it needs to really have a good anchor. We'll put these four feet into the ground and each of these posts will have three to four wires running horizontally and then there'll be a wire at each tree. I will show you those as we go along in the process of building this trellis system. This is going to be something you see throughout the year. It'll take us all year on different steps of the year to build this trellis. On this side here, we used rye as a cover crop. You can see the inside of the wide laneways have some really nice green foliage to them. And basically all this is is a cover crop to prevent erosion and nutrient loss throughout the winter season. So we're out here with Junior and Leeton in the new block of orchard. And Junior's in the excavator and Leeton's there standing up the post. So this is a vibratory tamper here. And he is pounding the video, pounding the post into the ground. So we use that chain to set the depth for our posts. These are 14 foot long posts. And in our inline rows here, we're putting them three feet in the ground. When we do the end post, uh, they go four feet in the ground. So Junior's pounding and Leeton's standing up the post. And what he's doing is he's looking crossways down through the line here to tell him which way he should go, if he should tilt it this way or this way. And then Junior from the operator seat, he can see the angle of our V here. They carry spare poles on the back in case they break one. And when that chain hits the ground, they know they're, they're till depth and they go to the next one. So you can see the great job that they're doing here, creating that V and straight all the way across. So in the inside of our V and the wide spot of their V.